Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. We include in this Mass our personal intentions. We pray for our families, our friends, and our relatives. We pray for those people who are asking for our prayers. And we also include in this Mass a thanksgiving for the birthday of Lolita Calpe, for the intentions of Calpe and Siriaco family, Elbo family, and Vergara family. And join me as I celebrate this Eucharist for the gift of life on my 39th birthday. And I also pray for those people who greeted me for my birthday and for my family. We also remember in this Holy Mass our loved ones who has gone before us for the soul of Marshall, Elisa, Atenogenes, Maria Lucia Jane, and Jalmar, and all the souls in Purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from, from the first letter of St. Peter. 
Beloved, I exhort the prebiters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the suffering of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing by not constraint but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response be, The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark of valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rand and your staff, that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me, in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please all stand. On this rock I will build my church. The gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon pong muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today we celebrate the Feast of of the chair of St. Peter, o yung tinatawag na Luklukan ni San Pedro, 
Hayaan niyo pong bigyan ko kayo ng counting background tungkol sa kapyestahang ito. This feast has been celebrated in Rome since the 4th century as an expression of the unity of the church. The chair of Peter represents the office of Peter as Bishop of Rome and his successors. The Lord founded the church on Peter, the rock, that the church should go on unshaken by the disturbances of the world. The Lord appointed him chief shepherd and gave him the primacy of the jurisdiction of the church. The Lord has entrusted to him the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord said to Peter, And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That is why, united with Christ, Peter continues to govern the church through his successors. Ito po ang kapangyarihan ng Santo Papa. Pinagkatiwala ng Panginoon ang kanyang simbahan kay San Pedro at ang pagtitiwalang ito ay binibigay ng Diyos simula noon magpahanggang ngayon sa mga Santo Papang pumalit kay San Pedro. Ito po ang kapangyarihan ng simbahan. At sa araw din pong ito, nabanggit ko nga po kanina, kung humihingi sa inyo ng dasal dahil ako rin po ay nagdiriwang ng aking 39th birthday, mas kailangan po ng mas marami pang dasal. Sana ako rin ay laging magtataglay o magdadala ng susi that I may always bring with me the key. Ano itong key? Ito po ay ginamit kong acronym sa aking pagninilay sa araw na ito. K is for kindness that I may always show kindness as I continue my mission. Sabi ni Khalil Gibran, tenderness and kindness are not signs of weakness and despair, but manifestations of strength and resolution. Nawa ay dagdagan pa ng Diyos ang aking pangunawa at habaan pa ang aking pagpapasensya upang patuloy na makapaglingkod ng tapat, ng mabuti, ng masaya sa lahat ng pagkakataon. At yun din po sana ang pagsumika pa natin to be kind sa mga taong ating nakakasalamuha. Letter E is for energy that I may always be full of energy in my ministry. Kahit minsan ay nakakaramdam na rin ng pagod. Pag tumatanda na pala, nakakaramdam na rin ng pagkalobad. Ano? At kahit po kami mga pari, ay nakakaramdam din po ng pagod. Minsan nagkakasakit din. Kaya kailangan namin ng mga dasal para kami patuloy na maging malakas. Ano? At sana kahit may mga panahon na pinanghihinaan, makapaglingkod pa rin sana ng may kasigasigan. At patuloy sana akong bigyan ng Diyos ng lakas para patuloy kong magampanan ng maayos ang aking mga responsibilidad bilang isang pari. 
and why is for yes. That I may always remember my yes to God when I professed my vows and when I was ordained as a priest. Na ang araw-araw ng buhay ko ay laging yes sa Panginoon. Kung saan man ako tawagin ng Diyos para maglingkod, laging oo dapat ang sagot. Hindi mamimili, hindi magre-reklamo, at tatanggapin ng buong puso. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this Holy Mass, sana magkaroon ng kindness sa buhay natin. Maging kind tayo. Punuin tayo ng Diyos, ng energy, lang lakas, ng katawan, ng maayos na pag-iisip, matibay na pananampalataya upang tayo makapaglingkod at laging ang buhay natin ay maging oo para sa Panginoon na tumatawag sa atin. Patuloy nawa tayong pagpalain at patatagin ng Panginoon sa ating pananampalataya. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes Take away, away the, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of Saint Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offerings. Sana ng kamay na basa ng dugo, linisin ang tibang sa halay ay puno. Ilikha mo kami ng 
Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter have nourished us by the communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietro Gina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon and this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble. Holy exemplar of great courage, we do our needs to be confided, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless, and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain in God, May we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated. Mga patalastas po, una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para pag sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa pambansang Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW, at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, thirst for reconciliation at bahagi ng pagsasakripisyo ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, tayo po ay naanyayahang mangumpisal at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan. Makikita po ninyo sa screen ang mga confession schedule. Gayun din naman, mayroon po tayong pagdarasal ng istasyon ng krus tuwing araw ng biyernes sa ganap na ikatatlo ng hapon. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Ikalima, mga kapiyo, bahagi pa din ang ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya at pagninilay ngayong panahon ng kuwaresma. Ang ating lakbay parokya ay gagawin natin sa ilang mga simbahan sa Pampanga sa darating ng March 21, 2024. Para sa mga nagnanais sumama, kayo po ay magpalista sa opisina ng parokya sa halagang dalawang libo at limang daang piso hanggang ngayong March 10 lamang. 
Ikaanim, bukas po ay biyernes, ikadalawamputatlo ng buwan, ang araw ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio. Ang mga oras ng healing mass at healing liturgy na may pagagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Kayo at ang inyong mga may sakit ay inaanyayahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan, at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang buka ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May the God who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Apostle Peter. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the Apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang.